Well, hey, folks, how are you all doing? And, oh, man, what do you got there, Tom? Well, we've got the modified pit barrel here. I haven't cooked on the pit barrel for a while. And I've got uh, some of these uh, beef chuck riblets. Uh, picked these up at Walmart. They're really very affordable there. There isn't a whole lot of meat on there. I know people have comment, commented before that there's not a lot of meat on these. And they truly aren't. You're not going to feed an army with these. But uh, never done them on the pit barrel. Uh, and we're going to get these prepped and get them hanged. And you keep on watching. We've got the pit barrel all fired up here. Uh, Let's give you a quick look here. It's got uh, three quarters of uh, the charcoal basket filled with some Blue Bay Kingsford. You know, get that fired up a little bit. I got three little apple chunks that I'm going to put in there because that's all I got left. And then, um, and then we're going to put a diffuser plate in there that's going to go on a grill and that's going to go down lower. Then our ribs are going to hang above that. And that's kind of what we're doing different here with the pit barrel. Is that uh, people always ask, well, what did you do to it? Well, pit barrel don't come with a front shelf. The pit barrel obviously doesn't make, uh, you know, give you the uh, opportunity to do indirect. And also, pit barrel doesn't come with a uh, lid temp probe or the uh, stack there. In my opinion, it makes it better. A lot of people disagree, but it's my pit barrel, and that's what I'm going to do to it. So, stay tuned. I'll show you once we get the diffuser in there. Alright, and there you can see, uh, there's the diffuser plate down there. If you want to know how I did these uh, videos, I've got a ton of them online on... YouTube, uh, Tom Horseman at YouTube, and just type in uh, pit barrel modifications and uh, you'll be able to see how I did all these modifications if you're interested. And uh, let's get those ribs on, Folks, shall we? There's the ribs hanging, let's get that lid on, shall we? Get this cracked a little bit on top. And uh, there it is. This will probably be uh, two to three hours, uh, maybe a little bit more. It all depends on uh, how we control our temps. But I'll, I'll give you a look-see as we proceed. All you got to do is keep on right, watching. Folks, we're about an hour into it. Let's take a quick look here. Our, our dome temp is reading um, right around 250. Let's take a look at our ribs, shall we? Oh yeah, looking mighty nice, mighty nice. Like I said, the pit barrel does a really good job of cooking. And it cooks relatively quick too, um, so we'll just gonna keep on going here. Uh, probably another 45 minutes. Take another look at them, and uh, obviously keep watching. And you'll Folks, see. We're too. approaching three hours here. Um, pit barrel's doing a great job of maintaining right around 250. I've got you see. I've got my chimney just cracked there, maybe a quarter of an inch, eighth to a quarter. Let's take a quick look. Oh yeah, looking mighty nice. We're going to do a toothpick test on these and then uh, we'll give you a look-see once we get them plated up. Thanks for watching. Folks, just took them off the pit barrel. Uh, you can see I used some of the Big Dick's dry rub on there. I didn't show you that before, but let's do a toothpick test on these. And what you want it to do is you just want it to go in and out like butter. And you can see in and out like butter. In and out like butter. So I'm going to cover these for a couple minutes in tin foil, and we'll give you a look-see. Uh, once we bite into them, stay tuned. All right, folks, there they are. Oh, man, look at the spoke ring on there. These are probably some of the best uh, beef ribs I've done yet. Nice color uh, coming off the pit barrel cooker. Folks, I uh, hope you enjoy this. Uh, thumbs up, leave a comment. Tom Horseman at YouTube. And as always, can't say it enough. I really, really do appreciate you watching. Thank you.